Okay, so here's what we're going to do today. The Santa Fe Super Chief, as most of you know that are model railroading, is one of the classic engines and cars. Uh, some of you may have seen the videos like I've seen about the uh, porters. They did a show where the porters were talking about how much uh, it was such a good thing to work for Santa Fe at the time of the late 40s, early 50s. Um, made good money, really enjoy it, enjoyed the working environment. And uh, so now with the Super Chief gone, what I'm doing is doing a, a, a take on if they would restore the cars and what they would use to, you know, to pull the, the cars around the United States, you know, just to elect, like, like, like uh, Union Pacific did with the Big Boy and the Challenger and the 844. What if Santa Fe did something like that? Well, this would be a kind of a, a really nice classic way to bring them back. So our engines today, what I'm using to pull is the uh, C44-9s and the uh, paint job on these, you've probably seen them in some area where maybe you live. They really did go in and, and paint some of their freight engines like the old war bonnet design. And that's what that's called. It's a war bonnet uh, paint job. So since they really have these uh, new diesels painted that way, it would be kind of cool if they had the passenger cars restored and uh, hooked up to this and made a lash out of it with the uh, modern diesels and just tour the United States you know, and sell tickets to just like Union Pacific does on their trains. They would probably want to put a late model in engines on it. Yeah. You know, because it, unless they would go in and completely restore those old engines, because they were like early diesel stuff. Yeah. Real early diesel. So I ain't no telling how hard that would have been because I don't, there's no parts probably for them, you know? Yeah. So we're going to just say, hey, this is a, our take on what it would be like if they restored the Super Chief. Okay. And because. Santa Fe really does, BNSF really does have freight engines painted like that. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. But they're just not super cheese? Yeah, right. not, okay. yeah, yeah. They'd have to be what's called an F3 or an F7 classification. Yeah. It's like that, the ones I showed you out there. Mm -hmm. But I would think that in reality, it would be better for them to have the modern diesel stuff running, you know? Yeah. So this is the super cheap. Yeah. Santa Fe super So we're going to call it the super cheap. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what we got here today. Now, what we've got here is a Lionel set. Uh, most of my stuff is MTH or Atlas, but this is a Lionel, and uh, we're, it, it has a little some qualms, you know, that I don't like, you know, about the sound system shutting off when you're making a reverse from forward to reverse, and uh, I don't have the expensive control system like some of you guys have, probably, you know, so I have to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, reverse and go forward with the buttons on the transformer and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so we'll see how that turns out today but anyway that's the explanation of what we got going on today uh, this would be a, like a, if you want to say a, a what if deal you know what if you could do this and uh, what if uh, Santa Fe B, or BNSF would do this and to bring back a classic train so here's what we're going to do we're going to run this and see what y'all think 